Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, New York Open, 8th of June. We got paid here in Europe, uh, Euro Yen shorts, Aussie Yen shorts. We got paid a little bit with Dollar Yen shorts. Dollar Yen hasn't done as much as we would have liked, but we're sitting here at the lows, 31.2. Core short seems to be the way forward. NASDAQ did what we asked it to do, broke 71.12, went all the way down to 70.80 ish, right around there, maybe 78 the low. Uh, U.S. yields 290, so they've come off a little bit, and we're generally just risk off. Euro yen was the big smasher. Went 29.30 the break, now we're 70 points through. Got some um, support here in this 50-60 area, but eventually I believe this is going to get taken out in New York. Be careful, um, the normal, the typical pattern on this is New York will now pound the lows and then create the low of the day. So, you know, we're, we've taken a fair bit of money off the table here and we're, we're just sort of comfortable and flexible with how this is going to go. As far as new trades going forward, even though dollar cad has been an absolute dog this week, you kind of have to look at this trend line again. I know we broke it, uh, I don't know what that day was, Monday, but I didn't bother with the redraw, but this is kind of an important downward sloper here this big pennant. Where the break is going to be, I don't know. Obviously, through 68 could be could be the number, but I'm beginning to think that just through 40 again um, might be might be the job. So keep an eye on oil. Keep an eye on euro dollar and. Maybe this dollar cad's going to be a good ticket today. Got to watch out for headlines out of uh, G7. Keep an eye on the Twitter feed. Um, and as far as data today, we have oh, we got some Canadian data. Housing starts. Holy shit! I didn't even see this. We got Canadian employment today. Damn. That's going to be a mover. Tell you what, <clears throat> if this top side breaks on Canadian on a shitty Canadian employment number, uh, you kind of want to go with that. That's not a fade. So, 2:30. Let's see. RBC is forecasting below consensus print, 15,000 versus 23,000. Wow. So if this comes in a low one or a crappy one, keep an eye on this trend line here and um, maybe try and slap on some dollar cad longs. That's really all I got for you. We're, you know, core short euro yen, core short dollar yen. Um, it's kind of the way forward. And we see. Um, we we'll see what happens for the second half of this afternoon. And otherwise, I wish you a good weekend, and I'll see you Monday at the European Open. Ciao.